Alright everybody, what's going on? It's Thundershot, and welcome back to more... I guess this is going to fall into the category of a Xenoverse 2 discussion, although in reality I'm speaking more specifically Xenoverse 1 and just something I really, really didn't like about it. I assume this will definitely be something I don't want to see come back in Xenoverse 2, but I need to talk about a couple things uh, as a whole. The main two things I'm going to be focusing on, although I might dabble in other areas here and there a bit, are going to be healing items, uh, the purpose they serve in the game, and where they should and shouldn't be uh, implemented at and time limits for fights. Now I'm gonna go ahead and start with healing items as a whole. I actually got inspired to do this video by, uh, by Rhymestyle, who's about to hit 200,000 subscribers. Jesus Christ, I just noticed that. I saw Rhymestyle's video go up yesterday, about, or today on the day I'm recording this anyways, about uh, him, he was doing some more random battles in Dragon Ball Xenoverse as he does. I, ha I personally haven't played Xenoverse in a minute or two uh, with online, but I still like to watch other people's videos and things like that, and I obviously I still remember how the game plays and whatnot. But I was watching Rhyme Style play Xenoverse, and he was doing more random battles, and he didn't go into ranked, he went into normal mode, which has been dead to me for the reason that uh, he was having trouble with in his fight. Healing items is going to be the first thing I talk about. He would fight these people, and they would run away, and they would get it. They would get him down to about half health or so, and then they would run away. They'd be losing. They would be losing the fight. Rhyme would have three-fourths of their health, almost all their health gone. Uh, and then they would knock Rhyme down to about half health, and then they would run away until the fight had one second left, and then they would pop a healing item. And for those of you who don't know, a healing item, if, if you use the right one, will automatically make your health 100% full. So, as soon as the fight ended, even though Rhyme Style had been kicking that guy's ass, even though Rhyme Style had been winning the fight because he pops a healing item at the very last second, uh, according to the end of the fight results, this guy had more health than Rhyme Style, and therefore, this guy wins the match, and Rhyme Style takes the L. Now, this obviously isn't just a Rhyme Style problem, this is a problem with pretty much any non-ranked online match, and it is a huge issue. Uh, I do say I don't want healing items removed fully. Uh, from the game because they did play a very crucial part in the story mode. I want to play I want to make more videos concerning story mode and parallel quests and things to do with characters in the future that I would like to get to but for right now I'm just focusing on this um, at, at the beginning. I always kind of looked at healing items as cheating. I didn't want to use them in story mode. I didn't want to use them uh, I didn't want to use them in Online battles. I didn't want to use them in anything. I didn't want to use them in parallel quests Even though eventually I found out for story mode when you first make your character and he's only level 30 something And you're near the end of the game and you're trying to fight Beerus and Whis items are almost required items are almost necessary So I did break down I started using items there and it didn't bother me any in fact them being necessary for story mode or parallel quest for that matter Doesn't bother me at all. I think it's a cool idea that if you're doing a really hard parallel quest with uh, I don't know maybe several great apes and your team isn't quite that high of a level yet Or if you're doing a parallel quest where you're fighting Omega Shen or the likes of them with a couple teammates and the, the Shenrons are ganging up on you and they're, they're beating you down and then you come up with that clutch full heal for your entire team and everyone jumps back up to full health and you guys are revitalized, you go back in, you win the parallel quest, maybe get a Dragon Ball, maybe get that move you want, get a lot of XP, things like that. I think that's cool. I don't mind that at all. I don't mind being in single player story mode and having Beerus beat me down and me only get half of Beerus' health on and maybe I need to pop an item. But you're limited to four times you can heal yourself. Four times it's it's almost a strategy game at that point, along with fighting. I don't mind that at all. I don't mind it in story mode. I don't mind it in PQs. I do mind it in actual fighting. I do mind it in one v ones. I mind it in two v twos. I hate it in three v threes. You know what I mean? That's not okay. And for the specific reason uh, that I just talked about with Rhyme Styles issue, you can't. I mean, you know, that's not. How do you feel sad? First of all, I'm looking at the players first and foremost. How do you feel satisfied pulling a victory like that? Like, who really thinks it's okay? to to barely beat somebody up like in reality you only have to land two punches on the guy one punch even you only have to do any amount of damage to the guy on the other team assuming that your health bars are the same right and they can beat the snot out of you they can knock you down to one hp and then if you fly your ass around and you avoid attacks until two minutes and 59 seconds into the fight you pop a health capsule and you win because you have one more hp than him and you cheated like no that's how do you feel okay with yourself as a person first and foremost but then moving on from that i know the argument well it's in the game why not use it will come up so secondly i'm going to target the game this should not be a thing that can happen this is the reason that ranked to me at least was the go-to even when rhyme and i started doing these particularly rhyme started doing these random battles uh online with other people you i would go into ranked when i did these and ranked is full of ranked is full of the tryhards right ranked is full of people who have their perfectly modified custom character with all the best moves on them and they have this character balanced to be as as broken in a way as they can possibly be just as strong as they can possibly be and they're going to be going all out and they're going to be trying their ass off to beat you and that's totally fine that's what ranked is for that's what the mode ranked is for is for you to either take the best original character you can find from the cast 
whether it be Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Goku, Golden Frieza, whoever, Evil Broly, whatever you like to use, or the best created character you can make with the best loadout and Z-Souls and things like that. And you're going to try to win the, the match as best you can. That's the whole point of rank. That's what rank is for. However, the reason I chose to go in, in, into ranked and fight the tryhards and fight the people really trying to win with their best custom character over going into the normal 1v1s or normal 2v2s unranked, whatever you want to call it, uh, is because it's full of these items. These items. You kill people. They use the Sensu Bean. You actually win the fight, but they use the Sensu Bean, so they stand back up from the fight. You know what I mean? You get them down. You knock them down to one-fourth health. They stand back up. You know, you know what I mean? They get full health again because they pop an item. And they have up to four item slots that they can use to do all this crazy stuff to you with. And it's just, it made unranked unplayable for me in reality because unless I want to use items as well, which if, all, if we're both using items and we both have four item slots, that just means we're reaching the time limit, which is the next thing I want to talk about. So first of all, take items entirely out of 1v1s. Uh, take items out of 2v2s, take items out of 3v3s. I'm going to kind of tie this into what I want to talk to next. Time limits. I do not think time limits need to be removed entirely from PvP or anything like that. However, I do think they need to be raised. First of all, I want to look at the fights themselves and what they present, what, what, they, what they bring to the table. As of right now, the time limit stands at 3 minutes. A 3 minute time limit for me is not enough for a 1v1. It is definitely not enough for a 2v2. And with the way that you can revive allies and the use of items still being implemented, there's no way in hell, like, more than 5 3v3s in the history of Dragon Ball Xenoverse have even been finished. There's no way. There's gotta be, like, since Dragon Ball Xenoverse launched, there's gotta be, like, maybe 10 matches total of 3v3s that have actually been finished that had a deciding factor where a team won. Because 3 minutes is not enough to hold a 3v3 where you can revive allies. And there are what? How, how many is that per team? How many? 4, 8, 12? 12 items per team total that could be popped during... Because there's no rank 2v2s. There's no rank 3v3s. You know what I mean? There's no leaderboard for that. So every 2v2 or 3v3 match you have is going to have items. But no, I'm going to go back. I'm going to focus on 1v1s for a minute while, while I get my head straight. Excuse me. I needed a drink of water. Um, To focus solely on 1v1s. To look at the fights themselves, I don't think... Because obviously if you set a 3 minute time limit, that means that in your mind, the average, I'm looking at this from, from Ban and Amco from Dimp's perspective, right? If you're looking at, if your time limit for a 1v1 fight is 3 minutes, that means that you expect your average fight length to be somewhere under 3 minutes, probably around 2 minutes. And me personally, I don't want my average fight length to be 2 minutes or less, you know what I mean? I think my average fight length... I just for what I'm looking for in a Dragon Ball Xenoverse fight should be at least three minutes. So I'm just going to put it at that. I think my average fight length, how long most a majority of my fights should take, or if you average uh, every fight I've ever had in Xenoverse or every fight I want to take in Xenoverse, I would hope I would want a game where my average fight length was around three minutes, maybe even more than that for me personally. Because having most matches be a minute and a half to two and a half minutes just doesn't seem like it's a long enough fight for me. I in no way, shape, or form feel like I get to test other characters' skills if something, if things can happen where the fight's over uh, in a minute and a half on average. You know what I mean? I'm looking for about a three minute fight time. And if I'm looking for a three minute fight time, then I think the time limit should be absolutely uh, no less than five or six minutes. I would honestly say a six minute time limit for a three minute fight time would work out really well in 1v1s. I know that might bother a lot of people. I don't know who would be upset about having to fight for six minutes and think six minutes is way too long. I'm not sure. Maybe this is an awful idea. If you feel like it's an awful idea, let me know in the comment section down below. Um, but assuming that items are removed entirely, maybe five minutes. If the average is a three-minute fight, maybe five minutes for a fight time. You know what I mean? You obviously can't make the time limit unlimited because then you're going to have a lot of people, a lot of people who uh, like, oh... Me and Jimmy, my friend, want to play each other in 1v1s, and then you play each other in 1v1s and you both leave, but you leave your PlayStation on and you keep yourself in the 1v1 lobby, and then you bog down servers and hit detection gets worse. That's not okay, and then the number two reason for a uh, time limit being necessary, obviously, is to keep people from running, running away from each other the whole fight and dragging fights out to 20 minutes because they both play like bitches because they want to fly around and size each other up and not actually attack because they have a 1 HP health bar lead and shit like that. Stupid stuff, you know what I mean? So no, like I was saying, an average of a three minute fight time for me seems about right. If you were definitely better than your opponent, and you're dominating them and you're locking them in good combos and you're making good skillful plays and you're reacting to their moves good and you're capitalizing on them, I think the fight should be around a minimum of one minute. I think it should take at least one minute, maybe a little less if you're really curb stomping them or your character's a lot higher level or whatever. Maybe less than a minute to kick their ass, but at the most part I think a one minute minimum 
uh, should be how it is. And then, like I said, your match being no more than five or six minutes. I think that gives you a lot more, a lot of time in a 1v1 scenario. Because in my fights, I was doing random fights with Rhymestyle recently, and I think every fight we had, except maybe one out of the three or five we did, uh, ended in a time limit. And it wasn't because our, I mean, you know, we were using original characters. We were using characters that were in the game. We were using uh, Tien, I think Yamcha, Jaco was there. Uh, Nappa. I mean, you know, we were using all these all these normal original characters in the game, and obviously we weren't using items because we don't do that. And every everyone was going to time limit, and we were landing combos, and we were landing hits, and we were having a good fight, but they never got resolved. In fact, I think most of the time our health bars were at about half. You know what I mean? Like it's it's just ridiculous. And then you get some of these custom character fights where the the three minute time limit totally fits because the custom characters can do so much damage now at level ninety nine or whatever the fuck you're allowed to be at, uh, and they're they're. It takes you 30 seconds, or it takes you half a combo to take someone's entire health bar down uh, if you play your cards right and if your character's stacked in that regard. So there definitely needs to be some balance on online fighting as a whole, uh, as well as a time limit thing. Uh, but yeah, that's that's my two cents on the time limit as far as 1v1s are concerned. Three minute average, uh, no less than one minute, and then obviously the time limit would be capped at five or six minutes. If you guys have any uh, comments or concerns about that one, let me know what you think. Maybe you have a better time limit scheme. Maybe you think the average fight length should be longer or shorter or what have you. Uh, maybe you only like one minute fights. Maybe you want uh, an average length of five minute fights or ten minute fights even to be the average length. Something long like that. Feel free to let me know in the comment section down below. And real quick before I do wrap the video up, uh, 2v2s and 3v3s, the time limit has to be cranked up. I still say remove items for 2v2s and 3v3s, but even if you're going to keep allowing two people to revive, removing items would be a huge step, number one, because you get a lot of sensu being users in 2v2s two, two and 3v3s, and you get a lot of people popping up uh, full team heals where your whole team goes back up to full health, and that's not okay. So remove items entirely. But then on top of that, if you're still allowing people to revive, I think the average time length for a 2v2 and 3v3, you got to bump that up to five minutes. Uh, maybe even something like six, seven minutes, you know what I mean? Just for where it is now. Uh, assuming when Xenoverse 2 comes out, the fighting style changes a little bit. Maybe it takes a little longer to kill people. Maybe you kill people a little quicker. I would hope not. I think people die too fast in Xenoverse already. But, yeah, maybe it takes a little bit longer to kill people, something like that. But if you allow people to keep reviving each other, even if you get rid of items, that time limit's got to go up definitely. Definitely up to five, seven minutes, maybe even ten. Uh, probably not ten, but, you know, somewhere in there. Uh, but anyways, that's going to wrap it up for me. Let me know what you guys think about items in Xenoverse and where they belong. Like I said, I like them in Parallel Quests when I'm playing with my friends. I like them in Story Mode. Uh, I do not like them in any way, shape, or form in PvP. But let me know what you guys think about uh, items, time limits, things of the sort. Other things that you would like to see removed or definitely altered as far as PvP or anything else goes in Xenoverse 2. That's going to wrap it up. Thank you guys for coming out. hope you guys enjoyed. Please click the like button if you guys enjoyed and subscribe if you're new around here. Also, make sure you follow me on all kinds of social media. I have a website. It's on Thundershot69.com. You can get early access to, to YouTube videos. Um, I have a Twitter. Please follow me on Twitter. And then I just made a Let's Play channel. And if that interests you at all, all of those links will be in the description down below. Peace.